Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Pinfall Television. Tonight we are watching the match between Jonathan Magnus and I believe that's Hatta. That is Hatta. One half of the tag team champs. Big money Brent Dunn here, along with Ben's, bringing you the best independent wrestling has to offer. There's already and a one lot of hammer. things. <laughs> there is a lot of things going on already. Um, like you said, one half of the tag team champions. Hat is, is a great worker, but he is a weird dude. Yeah. I am all on the Hatta train, but... It's an interesting character. Today, it's a red balloon. It's a huge hammer. Um, obviously, the purple hair. But he may be being outdone at his own game by the man who came to the ring in a mask, a cape, and with four henchmen. And that is they have four Magnus. Now? Magnus, the evil superhero of PWA. Yeah, he did bring his ninjas. I, I think I saw four. Um, one of them could have been a fan who came dressed in all black. Uh, Miss Payne is on the outside. So evening things out just a little bit. Veronica Payne, of course, out there. Uh, I would really like to see her take out the ninjas. All four of them. Is there four? There's I mean, least, you never really I can know. see three. I mean, three. I know you never really know how many ninjas are around. That's the point of a ninja. Fair, yes. The point of a ninja is you, you, if you can see a ninja... Then he's not then a ninja. There's a ninja there. But if you can't see a ninja, you may only be seconds from death. I didn't know that. That is a fact. Learn something today. So, as, <laughs> maybe we'll get into some action here. Uh, and the well, Hat is just going around, and I mean, he's got a lot to take in. I before think he's he gets concerned going. about these ninjas. Wouldn't you be? Absolutely. Uh, that's a little distracting. Uh, he's got to, I mean, literally, he, he has to be saying to himself. What are these ninjas doing out here? Like, I haven't been around PWA in a while, but this just isn't fair, right? I, I, you know, at this point, they've only observed, haven't seen them get involved in the match, and maybe we'll have a match here. Um, uh, but I don't think Hattis too, too uh, apt to want to get into this with all that rings. Of course, I mean, I don't. here's the thing that bothers me is, is I don't understand... Oh, here we go. Look how, did you see how quick he moved up there? And, and Hatta takes advantage, yes. though. He's going right to work on the midsection. Back to what I was saying, Magnus, I've wrestled him a thousand times. He never needed any of that. Well, to be fair, in nearly every match that Hatta has wrestled or is part of the carnival, uh, Veronica Payne has been at ringside. She doesn't and enforce herself in the matches, oh, though. Oh, you haven't been watching the same PWA that I have. I, oh, I, oh, 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 oh! Now that is a superpower from a superhero. That's the low a blow. Okay. That, that anything that brings a man to his knees that quickly. Look at it. And, and Magnus just going to work. Yeah, and he doesn't hold anything back with, with those. With both the efficiency and the rage of, of a man of his temperament. Look at Ooh, missed him the first time, got him on the rebound, and Hatta is a little bit worse for wear. Of course, no titles on the line, but Magnus will be making a great statement here to take out one half of the tag team champions. And there's the cheating again. I can't hardly even see that. It, is that just, oh, oh. It, I mean, it those looks ninjas like are practically invisible, invisible. Practically invisible. I saw every bit of that, though. I don't know. Looked like a shadow to me. Magnus taking advantage again. Uh, as he should. Had has um, got his hands full today. A, a double reversal yeah. off the rope and a big sidewalk oh, slam. Hurts every time. The, the big man can take. He can put you down on your side and knock oh, yeah. every ounce of wind out of you. I can that. guarantee you that Hadda is gasping for breath at this moment. And now he conventionally just turns it into a street fight. You know, do you find it's hard to take Hadda seriously out there? Uh, you know, he, he's. He's painted like a clown, dances around the ring, and yet here he is turning it around on, yeah. on Magnus right there. I think that's part of his um, mystique, I guess you would say. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't really, I mean, you come out, you've got a, a clown. I don't know your personal feeling on clowns. Look um, at this. The ninjas are just going to work on him. And I don't know if the ref ninjas. can't see them or yep. if he's just not. Well, he's obviously more concerned with Magnus, and they are taking advantage of Hatta right here. I want to know who taught these ninjas how to be ninjas. 
<laughs> That's I mean, is that secret. what we're calling them? Because we can't call them ninjas anymore. Wait, I henchmen. You, I mean, I, they appear to me to be to be. Ninjas. Well, they're not the ninjas. Are stealthy. Man. This is that was that was blatant. Well, the ref hasn't seen a thing, so I beg to differ. Oh, doesn't seem like he sees anything. I tell you what, those are open hands from Magnus right there. No reason for the ref to be involved, and just a clubbing blow to the back. Oh, had us fighting up though. He is, but boy, that was a big thunderous forearm. Had has got to be feeling that. You know, Magnus just in persona, he just reminds me of a of some kind of evil uh, serial killer pers- person. You know, that he, just embodies rage yep. and power. Well, he's oh, he's me. Cover though, he count he counted that one out with. The I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever. That's how he covers. I don't know that he hooks the leg. He wants to beat people so bad that they can't. Well, he, you know, he doesn't have to do much to, to finish yeah. the match. Uh, and when you have, you know, three other people out there, henchmen, ninjas, whatever you want to call them, and, it's and not... In, in his own right, um, you know, as we watch and talk about uh, Hatta here, tag team guy, having to fight... get back in it, Hatta, come on. Having to fight one-on-one. Magnus, in his own right, former tag champ. Uh, yes. And, uh, you know, definitely someone who is versed in that, too. Oh, he's got him down. Well, this is this... See, I think that's what bothers me here? the most. Magnus knows his now, way. Yes. So yes. So here we go. Now, now listen. Finally. If you do not there's a approve, reason for it to be out if there. If you don't approve of it one way, you can't approve of it the no, other this way. Is, Look at this. This is what you get. I mean, this is what you get. You come out there and you get involved, you're going to get hit. Now. And, boy, I'll tell you what. Had it, had it is absolutely cleaning house right here. Yep. Uh, and the only thing this is doing is giving Magnus time to catch his breath. And wearing had it. I mean. Okay, uh, I think the ref the just bell? did. We just call for the I bell. I think there? we got the bell there. He's calling for it. It's gonna. Yes. It's ringing, and now oh, man, this is how this has got to end, huh? Magnus is not going to be happy, uh, and I think Hat is going to going to wish. Miss Payne needs to uh, go get some help. Yeah, uh, Miss Miss Payne needs to get a painkiller for Mister Hatta tonight. And look at the the henchmen ninjas are more than willing to raise the hand of of Magnus. Uh, might have to get the officials' decision on this. Somebody, somebody needs to. Uh, oh, believe, Hatta's got it now. I believe, Magnus is out of here. I believe the match has been awarded to Hatta as a result of a disqualification, as it should have been five to ten minutes. So ago. we give Hatta the victory, uh, September sixteenth at Day PWA's of Reckoning. Day of Reckoning. Yes, sir. Hatta over Magnus via DQ. Ah. Tonight, you and me, mano a mano. There was punching. There was kicking. I can't make kicks. That doesn't make sense if I just kick the air. There's no sound. But anyway, and it was fun, but you had to ruin it all because you brought Ninja 1, Ninja 2, Ninja 3. And there were short little ninjas. He's got tiny ninjas. Shut up. I didn't ask you. Quick talk. You failed. But when push came to shove and your ninjas got involved, the lovely Miss Veronica, she poofed your little ninja off the ring. So you sent another ninja and another ninja and you all beat me and you stomped me and you kicked me. I think I felt the ninja chops. They do pinches too. And ninja pinches right here. It hurts very bad. But I survived. I took my hammer and jammed it into your ninjas, and then you ran like a scalded dog. This is just the beginning of us. Because what I'm going to do now, we're going to load up the clown car, we're going to pack up the carnival, and we're going to fly all the way to Mag... Sten Beach in Portland, Ohio. Estan Mag... Nestan... Wherever you're glorious kingdom is from, and we will bring war to you with all my carnival side shows. <laughs> Let's start packing. Why <laughs> see you soon. Hannah, you were not challenged to a one-on-one match this week. You were offered an audition. 
an audition to join something greater than yourself, to join something greater than your carnival. But you, you show up with your hammer and your makeup. You try to invoke the image of a clown. And you can't even tell if you're playing it for laughs or playing it for fear. Well, you come in a culture where both of those are acceptable. I come from a culture where only one rule matters. Magnus above all. Symbols are to be used for fear and control. Not to make kids laugh. Not to scare the weak. Only to keep people in line. And guess what? You and your little Harlequin and your tag team partner and your hammer, you bring whatever you feel is necessary because you will never stand up to the Legion of Magnus. <laughs>